Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be learning about the RGB color mode and understanding it a little better. Um, it's very important to understand the color modes in Photoshop because um, they basically, that's what makes up your image is just a bunch of colors. So the RGB color mode is probably the most widely used of all the color modes. It pretty much it generates color using three 8-bit channels and one red, one green, and one blue. And if we go over to the channels panel over here, we can see that there is a red channel, a green channel, and a blue channel. So when you add them all together, they create the colors um, that you can see in your image. Now, since each color here has a is capable of generating uh, 256 shades of color that translates into 16,777,216 possible colors for an image pixel. So here's that number down here at the bottom so you can kind of understand how many co colors there are. Oh, there's only, it's not 116, it's just 16. Let me uh, back off that one. Yep, there we go. 16,777,216. So that's the total amount that you can make using RGB color mode. RGB is pretty much what your eye sees and and it is uh, pretty much how the human eye perceives color. Now the RGB color mode is the color space of computer monitors, televisions, cell phones and any electronic display so basically everything that's electronic is using RGB color mode now you want to make sure that if you are creating something for an electronic display or something that's projected or something like that then you want to be using RGB you don't want to be in CMKY color mode so or else your uh, colors are gonna show up weird when you go to use it on the, or when you go to uh, display it on the monitor or any other electronic device. Now, one thing about RGB color mode is that it's device dependent. And what that means pretty much is that it's not going to always show up the same on every single uh, electronic device. You've got monitors that have more the ability to display more colors in them. Um, you have monitors that are better. You have televisions that um, are just have better color in them and everything like that. So um, it's not always going to look the same on every computer. And most of the time it looks different, but they're generally pretty close. Now, if you want to check and see what um, color mode your image is in, you can either come down to the bottom down here where it says sRGB, wherever, click on this little arrow and go to document profile and it'll tell you what it what it's in and it'll tell you the profile that it's in and this one is sRGB which is an RGB color space. You can come to the channels over here next to your layers panel and look to see if it's in RGB or you can come up to image, go to mode, and then whatever is checked here is what you have in RGB. And this is also how you change it. So if it's in the wrong thing, if it's like came in grayscale or something like that, just click on mode or go to mode and then just click on RGB and it'll change it to that. Uh, so, uh, kind of a cool factoid is that red, green, and blue are referred to as the additive primaries. You can add varying proportions of these uh, colors to produce millions of different colors. Now you can see that green right here mixes with red and makes yellow, and um, this is these are at uh, full um, full blast here. Uh, 255 green, 255 red, 255 blue. So that's the highest they can go. And you can see red and blue make cyan, blue and red make magenta, and then red, green, and blue together all in one make white. So that's these are called additive colors and then when we get to uh, CMYK we'll just uh, go over what they are as well. These colors here that um, are created by the three primary colors 
are called secondary colors and uh, knowing um, the difference between primary and secondary colors helps you be able to blend and use colors effectively to um, do whatever you need to do via advertising or just creating a really nice design that works cohesively with each other. So um, just knowing the basics of what RGB is is good um, if your client is asking you. It's one of the basic things that you should know. You should know what RGB is. So that's the uh, overview of what that is. And in the next tutorial, we'll be going over what the uh, CMYK color mode is and understanding that a little better. So thanks for watching this one, and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Have a good one, everyone.